Former National Security Advisor John Bolton announcing he will testify in President Trump's upcoming Senate impeachment trial if he receives a subpoena. This as lawmakers are returning to Capitol Hill with both sides of the aisle still divided on the rules for President Trump's Senate impeachment trial. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham says if House Speaker Nancy Pelosi doesn't hand over those articles of impeachment to the upper chamber soon, he will find a way to start the Senate trial without them. What I would do if she continues to refuse to send the articles as required by the Constitution, I would work with Senator McConnell to change the rules of the Senate so we could start the trial without her if necessary. If we don't get the articles this week, then we need to take matters in our own hands and change the rules, deem them to be delivered to the Senate so we can start the trial, invite the House over to participate. Okay, so Cully, I want to start with you. So previously, uh, John Bolton had said that he would be guided by the courts as to whether he would testify or not. This had to do with when it was back in the House. Right. They chose at that point not to subpoena him, as he said he would wait for the courts to decide. Now he is saying uh, he was looking for a final judicial resolution. I've concluded that if the Senate issues a subpoena for my testimony, I am prepared to testify because a final judicial resolution appears unlikely before the Senate trial. So this is this question of waiting for the courts to decide mm -hmm. to compel him. Now he's saying, if I get a subpoena, I will go. What kind of relevant information do you think he has? No idea. Yeah. But I can tell you one thing. John Bolton is really smart. Mm -hmm. Clarence Thomas, when he gave a speech at my organization years ago, said that John Bolton was the smartest guy he met in law school and had the highest GPA at Yale Law School ever. I don't know whether that's true to this day, but he's a savvy character. And uh, I think he also feels that it's probably his patriotic duty that if the Senate sends him a subpoena, he's just going to comply with it. And we don't know what's going to come out of John Bolton's mouth, and we don't know how many times he was at the president's side, because we do know from published reports that over time he started losing the president's ear, especially near the end. And so whether he was there for the key Ukraine stuff, right. we don't know. Yeah, Kennedy, I mean, that is in fact what he said, is that I've tried to meet my obligations both as a citizen and as a former national security advisor, that it is his duty <clears throat> to go testify. What do you think? Uh, he knows how smart he is. Yes. And, and John Bolton has the John Bolton worldview. And that's the most important thing. And he's also got a book coming out. So no matter what happens, I, I do think he's going to tell the truth. And he's, he's going to lay out the cards as he sees it. And uh, he wants to set his own record straight mm -hmm. in print and uh, verbally in front of the Senate during this trial. So I, I think... The news of Iran and a potential invasion in his brain has got him so excited that he, uh, he needs to reinsert himself and add his two cents so, on this critical stage. So, Jeannie, this is this very interesting crossroads, right, where we're talking about Lindsey Graham has said maybe we will take them up if Nancy Pelosi then doesn't bring them over and deliver them. She has been sitting on these articles of impeachment. A lot of people are hypothesizing the reason why she is doing that is because she is trying to negotiate with the Senate in order to have a trial and bring these witnesses forth. But she wasn't willing to wait on those witnesses in the House in subpoenaing them. As John Bolton said, he, he never did receive a subpoena. She wasn't willing to wait on the courts there, but now she's waiting and trying to force the Senate to do what she herself didn't have the patience to do. How does that look politically? I, I think politically it looks very bad for the Democrats. I, I, I really have always had a problem with the calendar on this, which was a calendar driven by the politics clearly. And I always thought that the Democrats should have waited to hear from the courts or to, you know, for Bolton to change his mind and agree to a subpoena, regardless of what the courts say, to get all the information that they had and then to, if they were going to, to put together. So is it helpful that Bolton and others are willing to speed up that? that situation for almost, you know, for the Democrats. They're not doing it for them, but... They're not doing it for them. I do think it's helpful, but I think it is such a shame that these articles have now gone out. What are they going to do while well, they're being held in the House? Are they going to go back, depending on what Bolton has to say, and rewrite, add articles of impeachment? I suppose they could. You're the, the legal expert here, but, they could. you know, to me, this screams a political mess for the Democrats in the House, and I think they've shot themselves in the foot on here. Kelly, can I ask you, do you mind if I just ask no. Kelly 
please. quick question. What legally can uh, someone like a John Bolton do on the stand? I mean, does it, it's not really the stand, but in the in the hearing seat, can he, you know, plead the fifth? Can he have any kind of executive privilege? Can can he just not answer questions? Like, or what are remember, his options? Yeah, remember, this is not a criminal trial. This is a political process, and that's what impeachment is all about. So the criminal rules of evidence and criminal rules of procedure do not apply. But everyone still enjoys a Fifth Amendment right not, right. To, not to say something against their own interests. And so he could claim the Fifth on a question-by-question question basis, not on a blanket basis. Uh, and I suspect, and I'd have to think more about it, he probably could assert executive, if, if the president asserts executive uh, privilege on a question by question basis. He might be able to do that. He might be able to testify about these things, but not testify about these things. Mm -hmm. So I, I think John Bolton usually plays chess when most people are playing checkers. Yeah. Uh, and I think he's thought through this six ways to Sunday. He plays oh, Dungeons definitely. and Dragons with an actual dragon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs>